Hello everyone, meteorologist Mike Mahalik here. It's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon out there. Look at outside of our Hagstown office. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's nice to see those blue skies after all the rain we had yesterday. And as far as high temperatures across the region, we're looking at basically 70s from Boston all the way down to DC. The sunshine's taking over. Buffalo's at 63 though. They do have a wind coming off a of lake area, which is keeping them a little bit cooler. So we have to thank the beautiful weather to this cold front that's pushing well offshore now, taking all the rain with it. High pressure is building in from the west, so that will keep things very nice for the overnight hours. Even a little bit cool in spots, with mainly clear skies and those winds dying out that we're seeing this afternoon, we could have some spots in between here, thinking Sussex County, New Jersey, places in Warren County, even parts of the Lehigh Valley and Poconos could get down into the upper 40s. But most places are in the 50s for tonight. Washington, D.C. will be the warm spot at 60 degrees. And then tomorrow, that high pressure remains in control. Another beautiful day in the mid to upper 70s for most, about 80 degrees down in D.C. But what we're watching is tomorrow night. Another storm system will be working up the eastern seaboard here, spreading rain across the region, basically south of the Lehigh Valley, south of... Uh, I-78 in New Jersey will see the heaviest rain for tomorrow night and that will just increase as we head into Thursday morning. So that's something we're definitely keeping an eye on. There could even be a rumble of thunder as this storm system moves through. That shifts on through New England as we head into Thursday. Thinking about maybe one to two inches of rain where this low tracks, basically right along the I-95 corridor here. So something we're keeping an eye on for some flooding concerns. Hopefully it'll just be some poor drainage flooding, kind of brief flooding. Um, and then as we head into the afternoon, some thunderstorms could come across Pennsylvania as we have an upper level low that will be traversing across the state. Somewhere in between these two systems, we could have a little less rainfall, maybe up towards Albany and Scranton, but we'll have to see how this pans out over the next couple of days. So that's the forecast for today. And, uh, be sure to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and even YouTube there. And weatherworksinc.com is the place to go. We'll have another update on the weather forecast taking you into the weekend Thursday afternoon. So please come back and visit our page.